So this is Go Code. This video is the first video of dynamic programming series. In this series, we are going to solve dynamic programming problems of add coders. Here, there are total 26 problems, and we are going to solve all these 26 problems. As these 26 problems had different varieties of dynamic programming problems, so after solving these 26 problems, you are going to familiar with all kinds of dynamic programming problems. So let's start with first problem. So the first problem name is Frog Fun. So the problem says that there are n stones of different heights. Let's say these are the stones, and first stone has height h1 second stone has height h2 third has h3 and so on and the last stone has height hn and there also exists a frog and this frog has a property that is if this frog is at a particular stone let's say this frog is at stone number third now from this position this frog can jump to the next stone that is fourth stone or from this position this frog can jump to the second next stone that is stone 5 and there always a cost for every jump that is if the frog jump to the jth stone from ith stone then the cost occurred for this jump is absolute difference between the height of these two stones that is h of i minus h of j for example for this jump the cost is h of 3 minus h of 4 and for this jump the cost required is h of 3 minus h of 5. Now the problem is to find what is the minimum cost required for a frog to reach the nth stone from first stone. So let's take an example. Let's say there are three stones, first with height 3, second with height 1, and third with height 2. Now, there are two paths for a frog to reach the third stone. First path is the frog jump from first stone to second stone, then second stone to third stone. Or frog can jump from first stone to direct third stone. Now, the cost required in this path is the cost to jump from 1 to 2 which is 3 minus 1 and cost required from 2 to 3 which is 1 minus 2 that is 2 plus 1 which is 3 but if he follows this path then the cost required is 3 minus 2 which is 1 so for this example the minimum cost required for a frog to reach the third stone is 1. So let's see how we can solve this problem. So let's assume there is a function fx, y which says that what is the minimum cost required to reach the stone number y from stone number x and for and for our problem is we, the frog want to reach the nth stone from first stone which means we want to find what is the value of f1 comma n here one denotes that frog currently is at first stone and want to reach stone number n now let's see how this function helps to find the answer for this example so for this example n is 5 so we need what is the value of f1 comma 5 initially the frog is at first stone now now the frog has two options either he will jump to the second stone or to the third stone if he decided to jump on the second stone then the cost required for this is the absolute difference between 1 and 9 that is 8 and he will land up on the second stone which means now we have to find what is the value of f2 comma 5 that is the minimum cost required to reach the fifth stone from second stone but if he decided to jump on the third stone then the cost required is the absolute difference between 1 and 2 that is 1 and he will reach to the third stone and now 
we have to find what is the value of f3 comma 5 that is the minimum cost required to reach the fifth stone from third stone because now the frog is at third stone for this f we know that the frog is currently is on second stone now from this second stone frog again have two options either he will jump to the third stone or to the fourth stone if he decided to jump on the third stone then the cost required him is the absolute difference between 9 and 2 that is 7 and then we need to find what is the value of f 3 comma 5 since the frog now is at third stone but if he decided to jump on the fourth stone then the cost required him is the absolute difference between 9 and 10 that is 1 and then we need to find what is the value of f4 comma 5 that is the minimum cost required to reach the fifth stone from fourth stone because now this frog is at fourth stone and for this f we know that the frog currently is at third stone now again frog has two options either he will jump on the fourth stone or on the fifth stone so if he decided to jump on the fourth stone then the cost required him is the absolute difference between 2 and 10 that is 8 and we need to find what is the value of f4 comma 5 as the frog now is at fourth stone but if he decided to jump on the fifth stone then the cost required is absolute difference between 2 and 4 that is 2 and we need to find what is the value of f 5 comma 5 for this f we know that the frog currently is at third stone now from this stone frog has two options either to jump on the fourth stone or to the fifth stone if he decided to jump on the fourth stone then the cost required is the absolute difference between 2 and 10 that is 8 and we need to find what is the value of f 4 comma 5 and but if he decide to jump on fifth stone then the cost required is absolute difference between 2 and 4 that is 2 and we need to find what is the value of f 5 comma 5 and for this f we know that frog currently is at fourth stone now here again he has two options either jump on the fifth stone or to the sixth stone but since there is no sixth stone so he has only one option that is to jump on the fifth stone so if he jump on the fifth stone then the cost required is absolute difference between 10 and 4 that is 6 and we need to find what is the value of f 5 comma 5 since the frog is at now fifth stone and for this f also we know that the frog is at fourth stone and for this position again the frog has only one option jump to the fifth stone and the cost required is six and we need to find what is the value of f 5 comma 5 and for this f we know that now the frog is at fifth stone and we and the frog also want to the reach fifth stone so he will not jump anywhere from this stone and he will stop there and for this f we know that the frog is at fourth stone so he have only one option to jump on the fifth stone and the cost required is six and we need to find what is the value of f five comma five and this and for this f since the frog is at fifth stone so he will not jump from this stone and for this f also he will not jump anywhere and for this f also now for this f we know that frog is at fifth stone so he again will not jump to any other stone from this stone so now let's calculate the minimum cost to reach the fifth stone from first stone for this function the cost required is zero because the 
frog is at fifth stone. So the cost for this function is zero. For this function, the frog is at fourth stone and he wants to reach the fifth stone. And there exists only one path to reach the fifth stone with the cost six. It means cost for this function is six. And for this function, the cost again is zero. For this function, the cost again is zero. And for this function, the cost again is zero. Now for this function, the frog is at third stone and he wants to reach the fifth stone. And from third stone, there exist two paths to reach the fifth stone. One is this path and another is this path. If he follows this path, it means he will definitely go from fourth stone. And we already know the minimum cost to reach the fifth stone from fourth stone that is six. So the cost required if he follows this path is six plus eight that is 14. But if he follows this path then the cost required is two plus zero that is two. Since we want the minimum cost to reach the fifth stone from third stone so the minimum cost between 2 and 14 is 2. So the value of this function is 2. For this function, the frog is at 4th stone and he want to reach the 5th stone. And there exists only one path that is this. And the cost required for, from this path is 6 plus 0 that is 6. So the value of this function is 6. And for this function, again there is only one path. So the value of this function again is 6. For this function, the frog is at fifth stone, so the cost for this function is zero. Now, for this function, the frog is at second stone and he wants to reach the fifth stone. But there exist three paths from second stone. One is this path, second is this path, and third is this path. But if he follows this path, then he will definitely go from third stone. And we already know what is the minimum cost to reach the fifth stone from third stone that is 2. It means if he follows this path then the minimum cost required is 2 plus 7. 7 is the cost to reach third stone from second stone that is 9. But if he follows this path then he will definitely go from fourth stone and we know the minimum cost to reach the fifth stone from fourth stone that is 6. It means the cost required if he follows this path is 1 plus 6 that is 7 and the minimum between 9 and 7 is 7. For this function the frog is at third stone and there exists only two paths from third stone to reach fifth. One is this path and another is this path. If he follows this path then the cost required is 8 plus this 6 because we already know the cost required to reach fifth stone from from four is six so it is 14 but if he follows this path then the minimum cost required is two and the minimum among 14 and two is two it means the minimum cost to reach fifth stone from third stone is two now for this function the frog is at first stone and he want to reach the fifth stone but there exists five path to reach the fifth stone from first stone. One is this path, second is this path, third is this path, fourth is this path and fifth is this path. If he follows a path from this side then he will definitely go from second stone and we know what is the minimum cost to reach the fifth stone from second stone that is seven. So if he follows path from this side then the minimum cost required is 7 plus 8. 8 is the cost required to reach the second stone that is 15. But if he follows path from this side it means he will definitely go from third stone and we know that the minimum cost to reach the third stone from fifth stone is 2. It means minimum cost required if he follows from this path is 2 plus 1 that is 3 and the minimum among 15 and 3 is 3. It means the minimum cost required to reach the fifth stone from first stone is 3. So this is how we can calculate the minimum cost to reach the fifth stone from third stone. The path he follows followed is 1 to 2 
and 2 to 4. So let's analyze what we have done. At any point if we are at ith stone and u, we want to reach the nth stone means we want to calculate the value of f i comma n and from this stone we have two options go either to go i plus one th stone or to go i plus two th stone and the cost required to reach the i plus one stone is h of i minus h of i plus one and the cost required to reach the i plus two th stone is h of i minus h of i plus two and in the end we have seen that we have we have to take the minimum among these two paths because we want to find the minimum cost so we will take minimum among these but if we observe then more we can see that most of the functions are repeated that is this f4 comma 5 is repeated three times and this f3 comma 5 is repeated two times and so on it means we are redundantly calculating the same function value but if we store the calculated values of every function then we can reduce this redundancy it means we need some memory to store values of every function it means this is a dynamic programming problem because we need to store the values of every function so let's analyze how much memory we need to store the values of every function since every function can be written as f i comma n and for every function the i is the only variable and n is always constant and the different values of i are 1 2 3 up to n it means we need to store only the values of n distinct function that means we need only o of n memory so let's write the C++ code for this problem. So let's stop here and we will meet in next video.